Hey Pisces, what's up? Welcome to my channel. My name is Katie and we have a little bit of a new set going on. You guys know I like to change things up um, from time to time. So I hope that you enjoy this set. This one's I like because you can see the cards a little better, you guys. And I get to combine my nails and my cards and my mug and all of the things. And for some strange reason, that makes me really happy. <laughs> I know, it's odd, but eh, it's the little things. Um, so Pisces, welcome to this space. If you're new to this channel, I'm so happy to have you here. Today we're going to be doing a reading starting with this upcoming week. But we're also going to be tapping into, you know, different areas of life. So it's going to be a weekly reading, yes, but it's going to dive a little bit deeper. I hope you're all doing very, very good. I want to let you know that I love you so much and I don't take any of you for granted. I don't take any of your views for granted, your likes, your comments. I really do appreciate every single bit of, you know, the moments that we share, Pisces. Especially those of you who have been commenting on my art. Thank you so much. That's very sweet of you guys. It, it's a very personal thing to share and, you know, it's I'm very happy that it it brought in, you know, a lot of beautiful, nice, sweet, positive feedback. So thank you guys. Alrighty, so let's start by setting our intention as per usual. I remind you, take what resonates with you, leave the rest behind as always. Also, of course, I invite you to subscribe and like if you want to receive more readings. Also, let me know if this setting um, is nice. Just let me know. I'm trying to improve the videos, trying to make it a little bit more professional. So let me know if this works or not. <laughs> Alrighty, Pisces. Universe, angels, beings of love and light, please bring in the most relevant and important messages for Pisces. Please bring in the most accurate predictions, the best advice for this third week of the month of July 2024. Please bring in detailed messages and confirmations for those watching. Oh boy, the sage be saging. You know what? Sometimes like sage is like hard to um, light up, and sometimes it's just like it takes a life of its own, and you know. So I'm assuming the energies need some cleansing, which is good, but I don't want to like, you know, I want to breathe. So sage, you know, collaborate with me, please. kind enough to add in the comments that the reading starts at four minutes in, that would be very nice for those of you who, you know, are kind of in a rush. Not everybody likes to like hang out for four minutes, so, and I totally get that. So yeah, I'm gonna try to remember to timestamp it though. Alrighty. So I see here that 
first and foremost, this week, you're going to receive so many confirmations of your strength. So many confirmations that you are being held and supported and guided accurately. You know, sometimes intuition shows up in certain ways that can be a little bit confusing. Sometimes the messages are not as straightforward as we need them to be. Sometimes they don't come in with subtitles, you know? Sometimes they do. Um, and I feel like this week, you're gonna be like, oh wow, like all of the messages and the subtitles that I got, all of the guidance that I got that I didn't quite know how to place, um, they're gonna be, you know, very obvious to you now. It seems like your reality, your life has been um, falling into place and confirming the intuitive messages that you have already received. Now this week, you're gonna realize that you have a whole lot more power than you thought. Many of you think of yourselves, you know, recognize yourselves as powerful, as you should. But sometimes, you know, reality doesn't reflect that all that much and it can be frustrating from some of you, for some of you from time to time. And I see that this week, you're truly going to enjoy how your power shows up, like how it really changes and moves things around. Some of you could be dealing with Leo energy, possibly. Could be relevant for you somehow. Some of you are, it's like you have more support and collaborations available than you realize. And it could be in the physical realm, yes. It could be for work, it could be for friendship, it could be for teamwork in all contexts. But honestly, what I feel here is that you have more support from the divine that you're actually like using or tapping into. I feel like this week, um, you could really benefit of like meditating with your guides, um, manifesting with your guides, receiving those messages, insights, um, analyzing synchronicities, evaluating your dreams, all of these things, you know, normally I believe should be obviously listened to, <laughs> but I feel like this week more so, especially if like felines are in somehow in some way relevant for you. We have the lion, we have the cheetah, and we have the tiger here. So if you like cats or if you are um, working with a particular uh, spirit guide or feline energy, then that's just a confirmation for you. So you have more support, you have more power that you're using. So what is it that you want? How can you receive help from the divine? from the spirit realm, from your guides, to make, to turn this power into either guided action or into literally the things that you want to manifest. You have been more in touch with your intuition recently, from what I see. Maybe you have been um, reconnecting to practices that you had forgotten about or you were not doing anymore, meditating, EFT tapping, journaling, spell work, whatever it may be. Some of you are sort of like not only reconnecting, but taking these things a little bit further. And I see that that is what's breaking you out of um, a repetitive cycle that's not necessarily bad or stagnant. Just some of you are like spicing things up through um, connection with your guides or through moving. Some of you may be moving. You may be moving from one property to another, one apartment, house, whatever, to another. Some of you may be moving in with someone. Some of you may be moving out, you know, from a home you share with someone. And it seems here that you're choosing your own path. You are setting your own direction, your own north, and going after it. It came in, the clarity came in intuitively. So if you're not exactly sure where to go, what's the right direction for you, pay attention to what feels right, what feels really right. <laughs> and that could be your intuition talking to you as well. I see you holding so much power in your hands. Look at these cards. 
look at how she's holding the light. All right, so this tells me that you have this energy available to you, that it is there for you to use, that it's there not only as potential, not something to aspire to get to, you know, it's there. It is like um, materia prima, it's like right there for you to mold and shape to your benefit. So this is a week in which movement forward is going to be made and it's going to be very clear. Um, I see that this is going to be a week in which it's not necessarily hard work that moves you forward as much as like divine intervention from your spirit team. So develop these connections. Um, are these your, for me, for example, it's all of the animal archetypes. Like for me, that's my spirit team. Also, of course, angels, archangels, um, several benevolent ancestors. But right now for me, 100% shamanic journey <laughs> with different um, animal spirit guides. So what is it for you? Tap into that, connect a little bit further allow that communication back and forth because I feel like with this star seed card it's going to be bringing in a lot for you to work with some of you are um, entering like a realm <laughs> or a space in which you're going to be able to alter physical reality um, more easily than you have before I feel like you have for a while, Pisces, been able to mold, shape, and manipulate um, energy, right? The energy realm. But I feel like this is going to be a little bit more concrete. I feel like this is going to be... Like this week, you're going to realize that you set an intention and it immediately shows up. You know? And that's been showing up in previous readings as well. But I feel like there's something to this week that's very, like, instantaneous, like, immediate. Going to your Akashic Records could be very useful at this time. Some of you could be dealing with a Capricorn, a Virgo, or Taurus energy this week. And this person could be that... This person or this guide could be this um, gateway. This, this almost like tutor, mentor, that teaches you how to... Um, be able to manipulate the tangible reality and I feel like it's going to be through tangible things as well so for those of you who you know know about manifestation law of attraction and if you have you know gone into uh, a little bit of a deeper territory with like spell work and witchcraft and all of that you know that the more ethereal the more the more ethereal activity and shifts it's almost like more of a subtle current that changes and it's very deep but the more tangible the more dense um you go into it's like the if i don't know how to explain this like if you're trying to alter the physical reality right here and now you can do so by going through the ethereal, higher frequencies, and then allowing that to download into the physical. Or you can do that in the physical with physical crystals, physical herbs, physical candles, which all hold a frequency in the physical. And therefore, the download doesn't have to happen, uh, doesn't have to take so long, right? That's why sometimes um, spell work can be faster you know, than other things. <laughs> so I, I don't know if this resonates with you, Pisces. I hope it does. Um, I hope I don't freak out anybody with that um, particular choice of words. Um, words are spells too. There's types of magic that have to do with physical objects, you know, with the frequency of crystals, with the frequency of herbs, right, as mentioned, with colors and their frequency, with candles, and um, I'm not saying that that is in any way more powerful than, uh, for example, all the healing work that you do within yourself. 
both are necessary, both are incredibly helpful, but I feel like this week it's going to be more tangible things that you move or manipulate that therefore reflect on the physical. It's like more dense, more um, material in nature. I hope that makes sense. But that's what I'm getting for this week. I'm getting almost like, you know, like telekinesis kind of vibes, like you being able to alter the material in ways that you have not before. Some of you are being invited to go into your Akashic Records and retrieve from past lives um, abilities that you have already for lifetimes developed. There is someone here. I take that back. This is you. You're taking this leap of faith and you're coming into this... You're like jumping into this vortex from a very high dimension or... Um, Wow, this is a reading that's been challenging for me to like explain. So what I'm getting is... <laughs> I don't even know what the fuck I'm getting. Please have patience with me, you guys. It's like as if you have been living in cloud nine and manifesting in cloud nine and being up there moving and doing things. And then it like, it takes a while for that energy to like, uh, accumulate in that cloud and then start raining and therefore reaching the physical realm and then you know it's like a process and it's like you're taking this leap into this vortex that you can see here and all of a sudden you are the cloud you are the water you are the rain you are the physical you are everything it's like you recognize yourself in everything and therefore you move through everything and of course you get what you want way faster because of course, right? This vibe is like very high, you know, it's like very like... Not human. <laughs> I'm gonna get some oracles, so give me a second. This needs definite clarification. Shit gets real when I get all the decks in the <laughs> Alright, so let's start with this one. You know, please clarify a little bit. Please bring in a little bit more clarity about what you mean with all of this. For Pisces. For this third week of July. into these what are the dominant I assume this is a typo what are the dominant emotions that run my life that will be the first card here it says how do you feel your day stress or joy trust or anger anxiety or peace we have only today right now the journey no goal no destination will bring us the feeling that we seek but when we begin feeling every day with that which we value most, we will attract more of it. And this is fulfillment. So this reminds me a lot of um, Desire Map by Danielle Laporte. We set a goal because we think that when we get that goal, we're going to feel a certain way. Sometimes we push ourselves through a difficult journey to get to that goal. 
and we realize that when you get to that goal, you didn't feel the way you thought you would feel. So what she says is, instead of making it about the goal, think. This goal, I think, is going to make me feel this way. Okay, how can I feel that way every day? Through different actions. And that way, you will bring that into being. And you don't have to wait till you get that goal to feel that way. That also alters a lot of the nature of the goals that you choose. You know, it's not the same thing to be like, okay, my goal is to lose five pounds. Because I want to feel more confident. And then it's like, you work on that and you make it happen. But then you realize that you don't really feel more confident. You want to lose another five pounds. And it's like very unfulfilling in that way. But if you focus on feeling confident every single day with different ways, whether it is intentions or getting yourself a new top or, you know, um, I don't know, whatever it is that makes you feel confident, <laughs> it will be different for everybody. You don't have to necessarily lose five pounds if you don't want to. Does that make sense? Anyway, today's soul action, lean into what you feel and adjust your life, your values, and your expectations to match your desires. What do you want to feel? Are you willing to let go of the belief that you have to achieve something to feel it? So let's reverse engineer this, Pisces. What is your goal right now for this week? How do you think that's going to make you feel? How can you make yourself feel that way every day this week, independently of that goal? That's your answer, Pisces. From whom can I release my judgment right now? Judgment closes our heart to truth and separates us from love. It binds us to our fear and holds us in shame. On whom are you placing judgment right now? Besides yourself, someone else. Is it someone in your life? Is it yourself? Release the shackles, drop the expectations, and be grateful for what is. Look at the person you're judging as if you are looking at a small child. See them learning and growing, falling down, and making mistakes. See their desire to be loved and accepted. Add even more grace to open your heart to this truth. When I lift the judgment from myself and others, I uncover my own truth. I am loved, I am whole, I am limitless, and so are they. I don't know why I'm being directed to this reference in my mind. I read it the other day. When you want to be there for someone, think of how a child would react. Like, let's say the parent is crying. The parent is freaking out. Normally, the child tends to just go there and hug the parent or just be present or you know just ask what they're feeling how can they help it's like you know children are so pure that way and often when it's the other way around it's a little different sometimes as adults we're like oh please don't cry you know and please don't do this you're wrong whatever stop it you know it's like <laughs> all of these things that adults tend to say to children and it's like we think that's the right way, but if someone were to console you in that way and make you feel better, or try to make you feel better through saying those things, would you feel better? Probably not. So it's like, someone here needs to hear this for this week. Give your children the love that they would give you if you were the one crying or freaking out or hurting or confused or whatever. Have that infinite patience. Sometimes you don't have to say anything. Sometimes you just need to hold them, you know? Sometimes it's just about being present. You don't need to know what to do. You don't need to know any strategies, you know? I don't know who needs to hear this, but someone out there needs to hear this. If that's you, you can comment in the comment section and, you know, we can talk about it. What is my body telling me right now? Our body speaks to us through physical pain or discomfort. Our body sends messages for us to look more deeply. See the trapped emotions, the lurking fears and beliefs that limit you. Listen to your physical body and you will be led to the source of your pain. It's time to get your healing on. 
Get the book Heal Your Body by Louise Hay and find the answers towards which your body is guiding you. I think that this might be actually a deck by Louise Hay. Um, if that's not the case, I still think that's a very good recommendation, so, you know, check it out. Uh, okay. So... Let's move on to this deck. So from this spread that we're going to be doing now, we're going to be getting more specific into finance, finances, love, and health. Those three main areas. Of course, intuition, I think, has been plenty covered. <laughs> and spirituality has been very, like, focused on in this, per in this first deck, in for this first spread. So let's see what else is showing up here. This is the Herbal Tarot, if I'm not mistaken. I'm getting chills. Some of you have ancestors that have, you know, people that have passed on, loved ones that have passed on. Recently, in the last couple of months is what I just heard. They are with you. They are showing up so strongly. I have chills. I can feel the energy. And they're letting you know that they're okay. No matter how... This is a message that is showing up for someone here. No matter how they died, even if it may have seemed um, painful or gruesome or intense, they want you to know they didn't feel anything. They want you to know that they're good that they're fine, that they're happy, and they didn't feel anything. It was like going to sleep. That's why they said like, it was just like drifting. They didn't feel it. So if there is someone here who recently lost someone in a car accident or in some kind of, you know, difficult for the physical body kind of scenario, um, they're showing up here and they're saying, I didn't feel it, I didn't feel a thing, like, please don't worry. Some of you could have, like, those of you who resonate with that could have been, like, oh my god, this person didn't deserve to die that way, like, that was so heavy or difficult or intense or painful, you know, and what they're saying here is, no, it wasn't, like, it really wasn't. In the physical, it may have appeared that way, um, but they, they're saying that it felt like just falling asleep, like just drifting into sleep. So that may be relevant for someone out there. There's a lot of like gentle energy showing up here in this card. It's okay for you to not know what's going on, not know exactly where you're going. It's okay. It's okay for you to almost like rest and sleep on things and let the answers come to you this week i'm also getting inflammation some of you if you're feeling a little off evaluate and research a little bit about inflammation even if you understand what it means you might be surprised with what you find i'm seeing here calendula but honestly what i'm seeing is turmeric Interestingly enough, so that's why I'm, I'm kind of being pointed into like inflammation Divine justice is here Pisces It has been showing up for so long in the readings It almost becomes like redundant at some in some at some time, you know at some point but what I'm getting here is that you're getting back everything that you feel you have lost. Some of you feel like you have been wronged. Like somehow you got pushed off your ideal timeline. Like something went wrong somewhere along the line. And the spirit is saying, even if that's the case, because for some of you it could be the case, but you don't need to worry because everything that is yours will find you. 
Everything that is yours is yours. Nothing can be really taken away from you, no matter what. So trust the process, Pisces. Wild Cherry. I'm obsessed with a song called Michigan Cherry <laughs> uh, by River Wallace or something. Check it out if that resonates with you. If you live in Michigan, you might enjoy it. I don't know. Um, but we have here the Nine of Wands, letting me know that this week, some of you are going to be feeling physically tired. Some of you are going to feel like very clearly the effect of stress in your body. So if you have been feeling stressed, if you have been pushing yourself, you're going to be able to see it very clearly, to feel it very clearly and to take care of that as well very easily. And because of what we saw in the previous spread, it's like any action that you take in the physical reaps rewards immediately in the physical. And, you know, I see this like bathrobe here. I see almost like this spa kind of vibe <laughs> showing up and they're saying that taking care of yourself will make you feel more confident, more comfortable. Inflammation seems to be a very big deal for someone here. I almost feel like there is something in your body, in your, um, in your day to day, there is something that health-wise, it's a particular condition or whatever. And the symptoms here, you're kind of like assuming that that's because of that. But if you look closer, what Spirit is saying here is the root of it is inflammation. So do your research on how by, you know, alleviating inflammation, it's like almost that condition is taken care of as well. I don't know for who this message is, but if that makes sense to you, please comment below. I don't know much about the subject, but the message here is very clear. Keep going, Pisces. Keep doing what you're doing. We have peach, creosote bush, calendula, pine, wild cherry, witch, hazel, rosemary, nasturtium, birch and blackberry. Mm. Some of you have been so creative recently. Some of you have had so many choices just like bouncing on your head. Like I want to do this and I want to do that. And I want to do this and that and this and that. And it's like, it just expands. And uh, what Spirit is saying here is to consider the following approach. What if you do one thing and you expand it to the point in which it's kind of like already gotten that momentum, it's going on its own. And then you go into the next thing and then you go into the next thing. And like, instead of trying to plant all the seeds at the same time, hoping for all of them to bloom at the same time, um, Spirit is saying, consider this approach. Choose one for now. I know that's, that freaks out Pisces that are very creative. Just for now, pick one, take it all the way. When you feel like that is already set, settled, moving on its own, choose another one and do the same thing, right? And Spirit is saying, you don't have to necessarily choose one over another, but gradual, like a gradual approach would be more helpful, apparently. Take it for wrestling. Pisces are so creative. Rosemary is good for like everything. <laughs> so if there is someone who's dealing with a, a person with the name Rosemary, uh, I almost feel this very healing vibe, almost like you're being invited their way. Like spirits saying like, hey, you know, Rosemary is, is good for you. <laughs> if that makes sense to you, comment below. Um, but for the most, the biggest part of the collective, this is of course about the herb rosemary and the medicinal qualities that it has, which are very, very extensive. <sighs> Some of you have been seeing dragonflies. Don't take them for granted. Research what they mean. 
especially if they have some kind of connection to a past on, past on loved one. We have the victory card right here in the middle. We have the victory card underneath the calendula. So calendula is a flower that is um, used a lot and associated with um, Dia de Muertos, right? And it's it has this like, there's this belief that the calendula flower draws our past on loved ones in and invites them to come into this realm, for what I understand. And with the six of fire and the three of fire here, I feel like your ancestors, your benevolent ancestors that support you, that guide you, that love you, whether they have met you or not, it doesn't really matter. Um, they can help you more than you realize. There is a victory here, a big, big victory that has to do with your third lower, your three lower chakras. And it really does um, happen through self-confidence. It's like there is so much that you want, that you crave, that you want to experience Pisces. And like the like 90% of that is on the other side of confidence. It's like if you just have the confidence, if you work through the self-esteem, low self-esteem aspect of it all, it's like you can have it. There's a lot that you're keeping yourself from enjoying because of a lack of confidence. And Spirit is saying here, ask your benevolent ancestors to help you develop this confidence. I feel like there is a lot of not only guidance and like messages, but also like power that your lineage wants to give you. And not even for you to use. It's like almost like, but I guess it's like benevolent ancestors being like, like the angels, like just tell me what you need and I'll do it for you. Like I can move things in the realm of, in the physical way easier than you can sometimes. So it's like, just say the word. And I'm getting a very strong grandmother here. Grandmother energy. Could have been a Capricorn Virgo Taurus. Strong Capricorn. And this person here wants to... <laughs> almost like intervene. So what I'm getting is actually quite funny. The vibe of this person is quite funny. Sergio, if you're watching, that's the kind of vibe I get when I mention this all the time with you. So uh, the ancestor vibes. So if you're listening, this could be the same message that shows up for you from time to time. Um, now for all others, it's very similar. The frequency that I get is very similar. And I'm getting that there is almost like a feminine, um, yeah, it's like a grandmother or a great grandmother or someone, someone who's like losing their patience in a good way. And they're like, just let me do it. Just let me do it. Like maybe you're trying to get a hold of something. Maybe you have put a lot of effort into something, but it doesn't, white you know wraps up the way you want it's almost like they're losing patience and they're like just, just let me die like just give me <laughs> just give me the green light and i can fix this for you in a second it's like let me intervene in the physical i got you i can do this way faster and easier than you it's so funny because it's like they're almost like very lovingly annoyed <laughs> that's very sweet for some of you, this is someone who passed away when you were six years old. Take it if it resonates. Also someone from Asian descent, possibly. If you have been seeing the number 1111 or 888 repeatedly, this could be for you as well. Careful with sugar, you guys. Um, careful with sugar and inflammation this week, this upcoming week. Make sure to be hydrated, especially if you have been having a lot of sugar 
especially if you have been feeling kind of crappy. Um, it, it, something needs to be flushed out of your system. So detoxes are also um, looking quite good here. If you have had paella <laughs> today or yesterday, the message for you is that everything is going to be okay. I know that's super random, but hey, don't shoot the messenger. All right, let's get some more here. For money and finances, what's the advice for Pisces in the third week of July? Yeah, confidence. <laughs> it's about the confidence, you guys. There's a shit ton of things you can be doing and enjoying and profiting from that you're not going after because of a lack of confidence that is not necessarily uh, an accurate reflection of reality. It's like, you think you cannot do it, you think you're not good enough, you think that it's going to be hard, you think that it could have repercussions or be risky but it's not gonna be it's like it's like all these fears are in your in your mind space because this card is about self-imposed limitation not actual limitation self-imposed limitation so that's what's going on with money that's the root of it this week so what's up with love romantic love specifically we got sweet grass Okay. I need to refresh things a little bit. I'm getting like eucalyptus, lemongrass, going out for tea, aquamarine crystals, a trip to the tropics or the Caribbean. Healing your body is going to be healing your connection with your partner. Some of you have been having issues with pregnancy, um, trying to conceive, and they're saying by focusing on your health, um, it's like that part of your life, of your relationship also improves. And the same goes for um, sexual connection. Some of you have been maybe feeling a little low, maybe feeling a little bit disconnected. And I'm getting that um, supplements, herbs, this kind of medicine. Um, and by taking care of your body, it's like that gets fixed in the, in the connection as well. For health here, you have burdock. And you have runes. Hmm. See things from a different perspective. Maybe the root cause is not that condition. Maybe the root cause is coming from what you do to alleviate that condition. And I know that may seem very confusing. Of course, what I would recommend is to deal with a professional, obviously. But I'm getting that tea can be very beneficial for many of you. Folklore of trees. A lot of Celtic vibes. It's so funny how these messages arrive. I feel like this week is not presenting itself that clearly, quite frankly. Like the messages are there but they're kind of like diluted a little bit i don't know if you guys can feel it if you um agree with me for what has been showing up here in the reading but even though there's a lot of tiny very tangible confirmations for many of you individually i feel like it's a week to be in the present moment i feel like it's a week to be in the physical materializing in the physical not necessarily through hard work you know, 
but by like calling in everything ethereal, calling in your ancestors, your guides, your spirit team, and bringing that energy into the physical, like anchoring it in the physical somehow. So let's go even a little bit more tangible. Let's get oracle messages, more specific oracle messages for each of these three areas. So for Pisces, for finances, this third week of July, deservingness goes very hand in hand with the Eight of Swords here. Makes sense. These messages complement each other. This is a confirmation. You are a beloved child of God like everyone else, and you deserve to receive the support that will allow you to focus on your divine life purpose. Even if you can't yet recognize your lovable qualities, trust that God and the angels can see how amazing you truly are. And just because, you know, there's insecurities and there's negative thoughts telling you that you're not capable of something, this card is confirming that you are capable. That you're capable not only of doing something, but like really shining <laughs> in that thing that maybe you think you cannot do. Now, for... Now, we're going to be um, getting this card, yes, for romantic love, but also for any kind of important connection you may have this third week. So, you know, friends, family, we're going to take this message and apply it in a broader way. Ooh, true love. Okay. So many of you are experiencing a very beautiful romantic connection. Some of you are entering a very beautiful romantic connection. Some of you are um, kind of like going into this in the near future. But in general, I feel that you have aligned yourself with better, more loving, honest, transparent, pure, responsible, respectful connections in all areas. For health, you got here a brilliant idea. Archangel Uriel says, yes, your idea is divinely guided. Please take action to bring your idea to fruition. So. You have been um, receiving these messages, Pisces. This is just a confirmation that it's safe for you to follow that. For those of you wanting to lose weight, I'm seeing here these um, measuring cups and measuring spoons. Also, I'm seeing a jar here of like cinnamon. So think about your portions and your metabolism, that inner fire. Careful with the sweets. And what I'm getting, because this card has this like delicious blackberry pie here, I feel like it's, they're saying, careful with the sweets, but you don't have to like get rid of them. It's like you just have to watch your portions, watch the inflammation in your body watch like your metabolism like it doesn't have to be a complete you know removal of any any of that it just has to be a little bit more healthy so that's for you those of you who struggle with sugar addiction like it could be healthier sugars you know Okay, um, super random. Th these readings are so funny. Like the specifics, the random messages I get for like one or two of you are so funny sometimes. Some of you have been contemplating putting like a, sec not a security camera, but like a little camera to like film birds or like a bird nest or like a bird feeding thingy. And they're saying that's a really good idea and that you're going to get really beautiful, um, like shots or something. So maybe some of you are like photographers or bird watchers or something. <laughs> so yeah, Pisces. 
this is what is showing up for this week. I hope that this reading resonated with you. If you are one of uh, those in the list of very specific random comments, please share with me in the comment section. I love to hear how these seemingly random um, little things are actually meant for someone out there. It's, it's funny. It's like I always get these confirmations from you guys like, oh my god, I have been thinking about putting that camera in the birdhouse or whatever. It's like it means the world to me when you share those things. It makes me feel less crazy. <laughs> <laughs> because believe it or not, after years and years, even I think more than a decade, Jesus, um, doing this kind of work, there's always a little voice that's like, did I make that up? You know, like, did, you know, and especially when the messages are so freaking random. So if any of you would like to share how the specifics have applied to you, I would really appreciate that. Alrighty, my love. So this is what I got for you. Um, I would love to invite you to support my girlfriend. Those of you who know, I am in a relationship with Lizzie. Um, I love her so much. She is everything <laughs> and we're extremely happy. I want you guys to get to know her. She's super quirky and funny and um, she has recently opened a YouTube channel for work workouts, basically. Um, different times, different lengths. So if you want a workout buddy, um, you can go ahead and, you know, just check out the channel. Her accent is very thick. I don't know if some of you are going to vibe with that. Some of you might love it. Some of you might be like, eh, I don't know. Um, but hey, please support her. She's my girl. I love her. <laughs> please subscribe to her channel. Please um, like her videos. We're in the journey of getting her channel monetized. So all support really, really helps. Besides that, my loves... Thank you for supporting the art as well in the community tab. I really appreciate that. And I don't know what else I'm supposed to say. There's no product of the week this week. Uh, you guys can uh, book your forecasts. Uh, <laughs> I think that's it, you guys. So I love you. I love you so much. I'm sending you a huge hug all the way from Panama. And I hope to see you in the next reading. Have a beautiful, beautiful week ahead.